and we move from health and that autism piece to talk about the highly fabulous women's conference which uh, took place from Friday to Monday, so it ended yesterday. And to chat with us about that is Dr. Patricia Benjamin, who is an empowerment speaker, lifestyle coach. Now, she is all also an award-winning media personality, public speaker, ordained minister, and published author. So, you know, she is well-versed to empower women and fabulous women in that. Indeed, thank you so much, Rishi. So happy to be here with you this morning. It is a pleasure to have you because you are here from London Indeed. and you came to do this conference and you're leaving on Saturday. That's right. So how did the conference go? It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, the women came together, obviously high expectations. And what I love is that um, these types of events, they draw women wanting to do more, wanting to step up and to step out and to move in their potential. And that's what these conferences are all about. And so we had some great results. Very, very pleased. Why call it Fabulous Women? Right. Well, fabulous, it really just means somebody who's operating at her best, somebody who's living her best life, her mm -hmm. highest life. Because, you know, sometimes we live below our potential, we just kind of do the everyday thing. And we're not using everything that we have. We're not using our gifts or our talents. And so the highly fabulous woman who somebody has recognized who she is and has decided, let me just be who I am. And that's enough. And that's why she's fabulous. She's been who she is. So why do something like this? Is yes. it that you had an experience uh, that you know, encouraged you to go down this mm -hmm, path? Mm -hmm. What was it? Well, do you know what it was? I've been married 34 years. And after maybe 10, 15 years, I was a very good mom. And I was a very good wife, but I kind of lost myself and my dreams because I was there for my kids and there for my husband and there for the house, you know. And then I kind of lost myself, what I was all about, and perhaps my confidence and self-esteem wasn't where it should be. So I had to take a stock and say, okay, Patricia, are you just here to fulfill the roles? Have you lost yourself? So I had to find myself again and find my fabulousness. And it was still there. It was still there, but I had to dig it out. And I found that other women kind of relate to that. They resonate with that, finding themselves outside of the roles that society has given them. And what we want to do is encourage them to use their talents, gifts, experience, leadership abilities, uh, not just in the home, but in the corporate, in the political process, in the third sector, as well as in their communities. And that's the high fabulosity of it all. And your family was happy with this? They love it. My husband's completely behind me because a happy wife is a happy home. <laughs> and so that's good. And my children, I mean, I couldn't do it without my children. I mean, they're quite big now. I have four children. The youngest is 22. And they all support me. They say, go for it, mom. Go for it. We believe in you. We think you're great. And of course, you know, they're my fan base. You know, they're my cheerleaders. So it's working very well. Yeah. So you came to Trinidad to have this conference. Why Trinidad? Why now? Well, you know, the power of social media is something else. I think if you have a message that we ignore it to our peril, and I've made um, great connections through social media. The world has become very small. And I connected with a young lady from an organization called Be Wired, and we were speaking about the role of women, what women can do. And she said, well, you know, Patricia, I believe the ladies in Trinidad would be open to your message. They would respect your message. They would respond. And so, of course, wherever you call me, I'll be there. Because and the highly fabulous woman is actually global. It's a global movement. It's not just in the UK. I'm in the UK, but highly fabulous women are everywhere. So we are connecting. We are connecting. So it's now a movement, Rishi. And, and you were satisfied with the turnout that you got? I believe so. Absolutely. Because I'm new. Nobody knows me. But we had excellent turnout and great response. And I think for a start, that's the best that I could hope for. Very pleased. Nothing, nothing to be unhappy about. And your goals were accomplished? More than. More than. So what would you say was probably the standout moment for you over the mm -hmm. four days mm -hmm. uh, at this conference, seeing these women and probably interacting with them? Yes. Well, quite a few standout moments, really. But I think for me, when women came up to me and they said, I'm so thankful that I came and I heard what you had to say, because I feel as though now I can get the confidence to go for my dreams and go for my goals. Sometimes we need to get a bit of permission 
someone to say, I believe in you, you can do it. Because it's kind of there, but you need someone just to push you, a bit of a cheerleader. And I think that's what's happened. Women have become more confident. Yes, I do count. My goals are valid. And I think for me, that's the best standout of, of it all, the is confidence. It, is it something that you'd want to do here again in Trinidad? I would like to do it. And I think I'm inspired to do it again because of the feedback. And every single event we had, every woman, they all came back to me and said, when are you coming back? You've got to come back again. And I think that's the best response. So, yes, I'd, I'd love to come back. And, and it takes us one step closer to that gender equality that everybody is well, talking yes, about. Well, yes, all about <laughs> equality, you know. I, I believe that um, if we empower women, we have a better world, you know, because um, if women aren't standing in their greatness and we're not giving the richness that we have into the world, what the world is lacking. So if women stand up in their power, in their blessings, their gifts, we enrich the world, what a great world it's going to be. Yeah. And well, the conference is over. Yes, it was it successful. Is. So mm -hmm. you leave on Saturday. I do. You have a few days to enjoy Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. and what it has to mm -hmm. offer. Hopefully, you do enjoy it. Yes. Uh, Dr. Patricia Benjamin, Empowerment Speaker, Lifestyle Coach, I would like to thank you for joining us on Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago to talk to us about this conference, how it went, and why you started. And you know, there is a possibility that you will be back in Trinidad again to continue this program. This is Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago. We take a break and come back. With